people in a Dinkum setting. But the eons old summer west coast racing circuit, four different tracks in 10 days, is under serious threat, with three of those historic tracks likely to become history under racing industry reforms which are now before the government. So just in case the tracks do fall silent, we sent Michael Holland to hook a ticket for a genuine down-home day out. As stables go, they're no great shakes, but then that's the charm. Lengths of ageing iron and timber becoming more rustic by the day. It is West Coast. It's not Ellerslie, it's not Rickerton. It's Hokitika. Well, we boogie on a Harry Harry Hokitika bound. Look at it. Massive crowd. If you're passing by, we'll say good day to you. Two to three thousand actually at least. Yep, a Dinkum two hot dog occasion that comes round but once a year and could in fact be on its last lap. Race one, yeah. the president's horse is in it. Yeah. If she wins, racing can stay here for another hundred years. Well that's a very good offer. Although his face as he watches his young charge in the home stretch, not exactly a positive omen. After 134 years, Hoka Tika is one of three West Coast courses recommended for closure under a radical shake-up of the racing industry being considered by the government. And she ran when? Oh, <coughs> she, beat, she beat one home. <laughs> we love the meeting, it's really family oriented. It's a great day on the Hokitika calendar. You've got the Southern Alps to the back around there, you've got the Tasman Sea this side. Stunning, it's just stunning. Happy people. And they get dressed up on the coast. Yes, we do, yes, yeah, it's very important. Tony Prendergast has been bringing his horses over the hill from Canterbury every summer for most of his training career and doesn't want it any other way. You're off and on for 45 years. It's an outlet for horses that aren't quite good enough to race metropolitan meetings. The sentimental favourite of the meeting, this lad here, named Diplomat. <laughs> Prepared by the country's oldest trainer and certainly most delightful, 99-year-old Barbara Blackie, known simply as Mrs B. We met Mrs B two or three years back when she put an amateur to work, but her health keeping her away from Hokitika this year. Not to be for Mrs B. No, that uh, wasn't a dream result we were calling. I've only taken three horses for Hokitika before, and every one of them has won. Um, <laughs> and I thought I might keep my records intact, but that wasn't to be. If you get a win today, I haven't had one yet. <laughs> I want you to buy a bigger hat to protect those ears. I oh, know, and no, I've got stuff on. You would miss it if you weren't in your little oh, race book it's booth. The highlight of my year, <laughs> hanging out in the little red box. <laughs> so the track stays open if she won, but she didn't. So what are we thinking? The track's now? still staying open because she'll need a bit more practice. <laughs> <laughs> So 20 thoroughbred racetracks around the country are facing potential closure. A ministerial advisory committee is due to give an interim report to the Minister of Racing, Winston Peters, by the end of next month. And that's ahead of possible legislation to rationalise the racing industry. So that could mean that some of your favourite country racetracks will shut for good, which is pretty sad. sad. What a great day there in Hokitika. Those are our people today. That was Seven Sharp tonight. Who wants to be a millionaire UK is next. We will see you tomorrow. Cheerio.